Hello everyone, welcome to Cat King. I'm Archie DK and today we will be talking about mock analysis. What you should do uh, while doing a mock analysis, what is the right approach, uh, what is the right time and how you should do uh, and when you should do it. Uh, also, what should be done after every mock. So let's get into the video. Now the question is what you should do after every mock. You should firstly, it's very important to have gap between previous mock and the next mock. So uh, if you're and it's very important if you're taking mock in a very initial days. Now uh, by having the gap in this gap, uh, you can actually work on your weaker areas. For example, if you are in poor in concepts and approach, then you really need to work on your approach and concepts. Uh, before actually taking your next mock. Now, if you're lacking speed, then you have to work and do a raw practice to improve uh, in the next mock. Now, all of this will not just come if you are just blindly solving and taking mocks uh, day after. But you have to do this analysis to actually improve your performance in the next, uh, next mock. So, this work is actually very important and uh, so let's just see what is the right time to do analysis. Now the right time to do an mock analysis is uh, within three days of your mock writing. Now what some students do is they just take mock for like a week and they do analysis after two or three weeks. But that's not how you should do it. You should take your mock analysis just after three days because then you will understand what was your state of mind while solving particular set passage of questions. Now it is very important to recollect your state of mind because then only you will be able to tell what actually went wrong while solving particular question and why it went wrong. So if you could have you know get a question wrong because of confusion or you drop in a concentration fatigue or you know you were, you were very nervous while solving the particular set of question you were anxious or some of the other kind of disturbance now it is very important to address what exactly that you know all all this experience went wrong because it will help you in the final exam and you have to overcome all this disturbance in your mind so that's the reason why you should take your mock analysis the right time is within three days of solving your mock now all this uh, all, all this expressions will start fading away if you you know address all of them now you have to recollect all of this um, you know while solving a particular question now let's assume that you are actually started to take your analysis within three days right so what you should do uh, in this three days you should the first thing to do is go through the paper again uh, and see what you have missed what went wrong now try those question to uh, try the answering those question again you know uh, what i did was i maintain an excel file also what you can do is you maintain a excel file where in column you have to just write level of difficulty of the question or you can just simply divide your question in uh, easy moderate and difficult in the column wise and in row you have to uh, you can divide the question with attempted non attempted right wrong what is your actual score and what can could be a possible score if you uh, solve those questions now by this it will help you analyze what and where you went wrong um, and which areas you actually have to work on so this table will actually help you a lot uh, also this is the first sheet that uh, you know which will help you in question analysis and section analysis now it will actually keep an eye on how many easy and moderate questions that you have attempted and got correct now if you are missing uh, many easy questions then you have to work on your concepts you have to work on your base you have to correct them and uh, you have to uh, find a correct approach to you know for solving the exam questions this is your improvement area now it is very important to solve all of the easy and moderate questions uh, let's just keep the difficult questions aside for now but uh, if you're not able to solve all the easy and moderate questions then it really get difficult to actually score in the final so if you are actually you know getting all, all this easy and moderate question with 80 plus percent accuracy then it will take you 95 plus percentile in your final score 
so that's the reason why you should actually work on this two areas and then you have to jump into the difficult question sets so uh, the other sheet that you can maintain for your mock analysis is the question uh, just write in the column question exam response and remark now in remark you can actually address what went wrong you know if the question was right then you can just write perfect or you know if the question was right but you took much of time then just write in the remark that you took much of time if the question was wrong then you can just write there uh, why it was wrong so for example was it a silly mistake you know for example or uh, it was a difficult question or uh, you took much time your concept was not clear then it was a weird question you have never done that before or um, you did it in a hurry so just write your remarks there what actually uh, was the situation for actually solving the question so this will actually help you understand that where you are actually getting wrong and also write uh, th that question falls in easy difficult or moderate category so that it will help you understand what you should do in your next mock analysis so i guess i uh, this is a very generalized way of solving and doing a mock analysis i will also be making videos on how you should approach your mock analysis for different sections so this is a common approach but you have to uh, follow different section different approach so for verbal di and lr i would be uh, and cont i will be making a uh, different videos so just a uh, comment below what actually helped you in your mock analysis how you're doing it and how this video actually helped you um, also share this video and thank you so much